Hello, my name is Frank Maxwell, and this is another one of my rhetoric and speech assignments. And today, for my topic, I'll be talking about social media addiction and why social media is bad for you. Social media as a platform are designed to be active and led by using dependence of determining the effects on mental health and production. To name a few things that deals with social media that is not good at all is cyberbullying, fake news and misinformation, and privacy consideration and the impact of mental health. People tend to do on a day-to-day -day basis um, hide behind online streaming scenes and online just technology in general, using social media, pin on persona or a face that may not be the real them in the uh, real world. And this is why social media is very bad. Uh, we also have cyber building. So we have multiple anonymous apps. And also, even even on apps that's unanonymous, people tend to uh, like call being a troll and just have a negative aspect on to a person or anything that's going on, like whatever is the trending topic or the topic of at the time, um, which is not good at all. Um, it uh, leads to people hurting themselves, suicide, um, low self-esteem, and depression. Uh, fake news on social media may uh, mislead people to actually thinking something that is true, which was not true, with misinformation and contributing to the sociality of undetermined to trust sources of the information as well. Um, and it impacts on mental health too. I may be a um a gym, for example. I may be a gym influencer. And showing you how to do your body like this, what workouts you use, boom, 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 giving you certain diets on the how you can look like me as well. But that cannot also be the case because I could be photoshopping my videos now. Nowadays we can photoshop videos. Um, you can show Photoshop pictures, the old way of photoshopping, and giving them a diet that may lead to them. Um, ended up in the hospital, which is not good for them at all whatsoever. Um, it can impact on real life relationships from um social media. For say, like you um you and a friend probably took a picture of some sort or, or somewhere, and it may and you upload it, and then it may look like something else that you didn't mean it to look like, and people take it as a another route or drag it in their own way, have their own opinions on it, and it can just mess up your relationship in your real life. Um, it can have a negative, a negative impact on real life relationships by disturbing face-to-face -face interactions, communication skills, and emotional determination, um, intimidation. So with that being said, like face-to-face -face interactions, you might see a nice picture, you know the person pick the select amount of pictures of themselves and then you go to see them in real life and it's not the person who they who you thought they were going to be. Um the communication skills can be off. They can be a real good communicating with no fans or like just in front of cameras and then when it comes to communicating in front of a crowd or an actual person in the flesh, they wouldn't be able to. That's another thing. And yeah, uh Fear of missing out. So basically, say you was the go ghost on social media. Um, you feel like, because some people, that's their main source of news and finding out things or uh, getting the latest trending topics is on going on social media. But then they feel like they have to, once they take a try to take a break from social media, they tend to feel like they're missing out on some things that's going on and they tend to get back on to it instead of staying disciplined and just staying off of social media. Um, 
and why did I decide to talk about this topic? I decided to talk about this topic because um, lately in the tr uh, trending is um, the social media platform called TikTok had went to court and basically they are, um, I think they went to the Supreme Court. I'm not sure. But I just know they went to court and basically people, the governor or somebody trying to, um, trying to shut down TikTok. But yeah. That's what and my plans to accomplish through my speech was to give you guys uh, a point of view of why social media is not the best source of getting public publicity out there and how you should just use your news and be careful of who you listen to and make right selected choices. This is my assignment for for my writer for speech class, Frank Maxwell.